Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's exclusive newsletter as we delve into the multifaceted world of Martin Lawrence, a name synonymous with laughter, charisma and unparalleled talent. Where we will unravel the layers of Lawrence's illustrious career, explore the depths of his assets, explore the luxury of his mansions and discover the enviable collection of cars that define his stature in the entertainment industry. All the details you need are right here in this video. Let's dive in now. Martin Lawrence, a famous actor and comedian, is a towering figure in the entertainment industry with a staggering net worth of $110 million as of March 2024. In the early 2000s, Lawrence led Hollywood, emerging as one of the highest paid movie stars globally. His prominence was such that prior to the filming of Bad Boys, he eclipsed his co-star Will Smith in demand and fame. Notably, Lawrence commanded a remarkable salary of $6 million for the first installment of Bad Boys. While Smith received $2 million a reflection of Lawrence's unparalleled star power at the time. However, this led to an awkward predicament, with Lawrence insisting on parody with Smith for future sequels. Thankfully, this impasse was resolved with Bad Boys 2 Inches in 2003, where both luminaries earned a hefty $20 million each. Lawrence's box office prowess is evident in his earnings from various blockbuster hits. He raked in a substantial $6 million for Nothing to Lose in 1997, followed by an impressive $8,500,000 for Life in 1999. The same year, his star continued to ascend with a handsome $20 million paycheck for Blue Streak. In 2001 and Black Knight, in the same year fetched him $13 million and $16,500,000, respectively. His stellar performance in National Security in 2003 further bolstered his financial standing with a commendable $20 million. Beyond the silver screen, Lawrence's financial empire extends to lucrative endorsement deals, contributing an additional $25 million to his coffers. Moreover, his astute business acumen has led him to diversify into various sectors, including real estate and other entrepreneurial ventures. Through strategic investments and shrewd partnerships, Lawrence has cemented his status not only as an entertainment icon but also as a savvy businessman. His journey from humble beginnings to the pinnacles of success serves as a testament to his talent. Resilience and unwavering determination to conquer every facet of the entertainment world. Martin Fitzgerald Lawrence, born on April 16, 1965, in Frankfurt, West Germany, emerged from humble beginnings to become a household name in the entertainment industry. The fourth of six children, Lawrence's early life was marked by constant change and adversity. His father, John Lawrence, served in the United States Army during Lawrence's birth, shaping his nomadic childhood. At the age of seven, Lawrence's family resettled in the Washington, D.C. area, specifically in Landover. Maryland, where they confronted financial hardship in the King's Square housing complex. Despite the challenges, Lawrence's mother, Clora, worked tirelessly in various roles to provide for her children after divorcing Lawrence's father when he was eight years old. Lawrence's upbringing in the projects was fraught with the temptations of street life, but with the unwavering support of his family, particularly his mother and brothers. He steered clear of trouble. Despite his diminutive stature, Lawrence found solace and discipline in boxing during his teenage years, excelling as a Mid-Atlantic Golden Gloves boxer while attending Eleanor Roosevelt High School and Friendly High School in Fort Washington, Maryland. In the genesis of his career, Martin Lawrence navigated the bustling streets of Washington, D.C., honing his comedic craft while juggling odd jobs to make ends meet. His talent caught the discerning eye of comedian Rich Snyder who recognized Lawrence's potential and beckoned him to New York City for greater opportunities. Seizing the moment, Lawrence ventured into the vibrant comedy scene of the improv, where his wit and charisma captivated audiences. His meteoric rise gained momentum when he graced the stage of Star Search, showcasing his comedic prowess to a national audience and earning accolades despite falling short of victory. However, fate intervened when Columbia Pictures television executives took notice of Lawrence's electrifying performance. Offering him his inaugural acting role as Maurice Warfield in What's Happening Now? This marked the inception of Lawrence's foray into acting, paving the way for a series of small yet pivotal roles in both film and television. His breakthrough came with the portrayal of C in the seminal film, Do the Right Thing, catapulting him into the spotlight and setting the stage for a string of successful ventures including House Party, House Party 2, 
talking dirty after dark, and the star studded, boomerang. Alongside Eddie Murphy, amidst his burgeoning acting career, Lawrence's influence extended beyond the silver screen as he was handpicked by entertainment mogul Russell Simmons to helm the groundbreaking series, Deaf Comedy Jam, on HBO. The platform not only showcased Lawrence's comedic genius but also served as a launching pad for a new generation of comedians, including luminaries like Chris Tucker, Dave Chappelle, Mike Epps, Bernie Mac and Cedric the Entertainer, cementing Lawrence's status as an entertainment pioneer. Martin Lawrence's indelible mark on the entertainment landscape continued to flourish during his tenure with Deaf Comedy Jam, concurrently embarking on his own triumphant television venture with the iconic series, Martin, broadcasted on Fox. From 1992 to 1997, Martin held sway over primetime viewers, emerging as a bona fide sensation and a formidable competitor to NBC's must-see TV lineup. Lawrence's magnetic presence as the titular character not only propelled Fox's Thursday night lineup to unprecedented heights but also cemented his status as a household name. Dot, however, Lawrence's ascent was not without its controversies, as evidenced by his infamous appearance on Saturday Night Live in 1994, where his off-color remarks sparked uproar and led to his temporary banishment from NBC. Nonetheless, Lawrence's star continued to ascend with each passing year, reaching new heights of success with his silver screen endeavors. Following the conclusion of Martin, Lawrence transitioned seamlessly into the realm of film, frequently assuming prominent roles alongside industry heavyweights such as Eddie Murphy, Danny DeVito, and Tim Robbins. In 2006, he made a memorable appearance on Inside the Actors Studio, where he delighted audiences by resurrecting some of the beloved characters from his iconic sitcom, Martin. That same year, Lawrence lent his distinctive voice to the animated film, Open Season, embodying the lovable character Boog alongside a stellar cast including Ashton Kutcher, Deborah Messing, and Gary Sinise. Deviating from his usual comedies, Lawrence ventured into family-friendly territory with his first G-rated film, Walt Disney Pictures, College Road Trip, in 2008. Female collaborations actor Raven Simone, Lawrence captivated audiences with his talent. In 2011, Lawrence revisited the role of FBI agent Malcolm Turner in Big Mamas, Like Father, Like Son, the third installment of the popular film series. Despite mixed reviews, Lawrence's comedic timing and charisma shone through, captivating audiences once again. The year 2013 brought news of an exciting collaboration as Lawrence and Kelsey Grammer contemplated starring in a comedy series for Lionsgate Television. The resulting show, Partners followed the escapades of two mismatched Chicago lawyers, offering a comedic glimpse into their contrasting worlds. Although short-lived due to poor reception, Lawrence's chemistry with grammar was undeniable, showcasing his enduring appeal on the small screen. In 2020, Lawrence delighted fans by reprising his role as Detective Marcus Burnett in Bad Boys for Life, the third installment of the blockbuster film series. Reuniting with co-star Will Smith, Lawrence delivered a stellar performance that contributed to the film's resounding success, solidifying his status as a box office draw. Continuing to captivate audiences, Lawrence graced the silver screen once again in 2022's Mind Cage, sharing the screen with acclaimed actors Melissa Roxburgh and John Malkovich. His seamless transition between genres highlights his remarkable versatility as an actor. In a momentous milestone, Lawrence was honored with a star on the prestigious Hollywood Walk of Fame on April 20, 2023, a testament to his enduring impact on the entertainment industry and his enduring legacy as a beloved icon. Arrests, lawsuits and health issues. In July 1995, while filming, a thin line between love and hate, Lawrence experienced a violent outburst that resulted in him being hospitalized at Cedars-Sinai Medical Center, sparking concern worried about his health. Just a few months later, in May 1996, Lawrence's behavior became disturbing when he was arrested for brandishing a pistol in the middle of a Los Angeles intersection and uttering paranoid statements. This alarming incident, attributed to exhaustion and dehydration by his public relations representative, led to another hospitalization, underscoring the pressures of fame. Lawrence's troubles continued when he tried to bring a gun on a flight in July 1996, resulting in a legal reprimand with a two-year probation sentence and a fine. Amid personal upheaval, Lawrence also faced professional challenges. In January 1997, 
his co-star Tisha Campbell Martin filed a lawsuit against him, alleging sexual harassment and abuse both on and off the set of their collaborative projects. The lawsuit cast a shadow over Lawrence's career, causing the public to be wary and have to fight legally. Despite the chaos, by April 1997, Campbell Martin had settled the lawsuit, allowing her to return for the final episodes of their series, although lingering tensions remain. Lawrence's worst troubles came in March 1997 when he was arrested after an altercation at a Hollywood nightclub, further tarnishing his public image. These incidents shed light on the complexities of fame and the toll it can take on individuals aiming for attention. In August 1999, Lawrence jogged in 100-degree heat, wearing heavy clothing over a plastic suit as he prepared for Big Mama's house. He collapsed from the heat and was in a coma for three days. He almost died when his body temperature rose to 107 degrees. His breathing was supported by a ventilator while he was in a coma. My dear audience, what do you think about his career over the years, along with his enviable assets? Your feedback is invaluable to us, so please leave us your comments in the section below. And now we come to the houses he already owns. Mansion in Beverly, nestled within the prestigious enclave of Beverly Park lies a palatial villa, epitomizing luxury living on a grand scale. Spanning a vast 15,000 square meters, this lavish estate boasts a plethora of opulent amenities befitting its illustrious surroundings. Upon entering the marble-clad foyer, guests are greeted by the splendor of stained-glass skylights, a prelude to the grandeur that awaits within. The villa's expansive layout encompasses seven bedrooms, each adorned with intricate details including sparkling chandeliers and brightly colored bathrooms, exuding an air of timeless elegance. There is plenty of entertainment on the villa grounds, with countless entertaining spaces for you to enjoy. The spacious formal living room, dining area and wine room set the stage for sophisticated gatherings, while the large family room and game room offer plenty of opportunities for relaxation and entertainment. The Pièce de Résistance is a premier home theater, complete with concession stands and state-of-the-art sound system, offering an unparalleled cinematic experience in the comfort of your own home. Stepping outside, the villa's grounds unfold to reveal an oasis of serenity, featuring a sprawling backyard adorned with a large swimming pool and cabanas, perfect for al fresco entertaining and leisurely lounging. Sports enthusiasts will delight in the sunken tennis court and cobblestone stadium, offering the ideal setting for friendly competition and athletic pursuits. Meanwhile, a built-in fish tank adds a touch of aquatic elegance to the outdoor landscape, enhancing the villa's ambiance of refined luxury. As the sun sets, the villa's outdoor fireplace beckons, providing a cozy retreat on chilly winter evenings, while the Greek-inspired architecture lends a sense of classical sophistication to the meticulously manicured grounds. It's no wonder that in 2013, this magnificent property commanded a price tag of $26,500,000. A testament to its unrivaled beauty and allure. Ultimately, the villa found a new owner in Los Angeles real estate developer Bruce Makowski, who recognized its inherent value and splendor, acquiring it for $17,200,000 an investment in luxury living at its finest. Farm near Purcellville, Virginia. He also owned a farm near Purcellville, Virginia. Originally constructed in 1980 and meticulously renovated in 2004, this expansive 22,538-square-foot residence exudes elegance and sophistication at every turn. Boasting five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and three full bathrooms, the estate offers ample space for both relaxation and entertainment. The property itself serves as a veritable paradise for leisure enthusiasts, featuring an array of amenities designed for indoor and outdoor enjoyment. From a basketball court and indoor pool to a fully equipped gym and home theater, the estate offers endless opportunities for recreation and relaxation. A highlight of the property is its impressive bowling alley, providing hours of entertainment for residents and guests alike. Surrounded by picturesque landscapes, the estate encompasses two serene lakes, each boasting a dock for fishing and boating a testament to the tranquility and natural beauty of the surroundings. The interior of the home exudes warmth and sophistication, with spacious rooms flooded with natural light, creating an inviting ambiance for residents and visitors. In 2018, this exquisite property changed hands, fetching a price tag of $8,500,000 a testament to its desirability and timeless appeal. Mansion in Encino, California. He bought in 2019 for $6,600,000 a house in Encino, California. Nestled atop a hill in Los Angeles, 
This magnificent home boasts seven bedrooms, more than seven bathrooms, and spans over 10,000 square feet, offering ample space for luxurious living. Reflecting a timeless Tuscan style, the house features a charming clay tile roof and warm brown stucco facade, exuding elegance and sophistication. Upon entering the property, guests are greeted by a delightful entryway adorned with a lovely garage and ample parking space. Embodying the essence of grandeur and hospitality, a sweeping staircase with a beautiful balcony overlooks the serene entrance, offering panoramic views of the surrounding landscape an idyllic setting that truly takes one's breath away. Situated in the vibrant Encino area of Los Angeles, Lawrence's new abode enjoys the perfect balance of proximity to downtown amenities while being removed from the hustle and bustle of city traffic. Known locally as, The Valley, Encino offers a desirable blend of accessibility and tranquility. With slightly warmer temperatures and relatively more affordable housing prices compared to other parts of Los Angeles. The name, Encino, itself translates to, Oak Tree, in Spanish, paying homage to the area's lush natural surroundings and rich cultural heritage. With its proximity to downtown, diverse culture, and vibrant community, Encino has become a sought-after destination for many, including notable celebrities like Lawrence himself. The allure of this thriving neighborhood, coupled with its affordability and rich cultural tapestry, makes it an enticing prospect for those seeking a slice of the Los Angeles lifestyle without the exorbitant price tag. Dear viewers, what do you think about the above houses? Let us know below in the comments section. And now we invite you to follow along to see what cars are in his supercar collection. Cars Martin Lawrence's impressive car collection boasts an array of luxury vehicles that epitomize elegance, style, and performance. Among his prized possessions is the Ferrari 575M Marinello, a stunning masterpiece known for its impeccable craftsmanship and exhilarating driving experience. Priced at approximately $110,000, this iconic sports car is a testament to Lawrence's discerning taste and passion for automotive excellence. With its sleek design, powerful engine, and unparalleled handling, the Ferrari 575M Marinello is a symbol of prestige and refinement in Lawrence's esteemed collection. Adding to his fleet of high-performance automobiles is the Porsche 992, a pinnacle of engineering prowess and sophistication. With a price tag of around $242,000, the Porsche 992 represents the epitome of luxury and performance, combining cutting-edge technology with timeless design. Renowned for its dynamic driving dynamics and unparalleled comfort, this prestigious sports car reflects Lawrence's affinity for automotive excellence and his penchant for owning the best of the best. Rounding out Lawrence's impressive car collection is the 1995 Ferrari F355, a classic beauty that exudes timeless charm and allure. Priced at approximately $150,000, the Ferrari F355 epitomizes the golden era of Italian sports cars, with its sleek lines, powerful engine, and exhilarating performance. As a cherished member of Lawrence's collection, the Ferrari F355 embodies the epitome of automotive excellence and serves as a testament to his enduring passion for fine automobiles. Martin Lawrence's choice of luxury cars undoubtedly reflects his discerning taste and appreciation for fine craftsmanship and performance. From the iconic Ferrari 575M Marinello to the sophisticated Porsche 992 and the classic Ferrari F355, each vehicle in his collection exudes prestige and elegance. But beyond his luxurious lifestyle, Lawrence's philanthropic endeavors shine a light on his commitment to giving back to the community. Throughout his illustrious career, Lawrence has demonstrated a deep-seated dedication to philanthropy through various charitable initiatives. In 2010, he established the Martin Lawrence Foundation with a pledge of $20 million to support disadvantaged street and homeless children, empowering them to build a brighter future for themselves. The foundation's focus on education, children's hospitals, and disaster relief efforts underscores Lawrence's belief in the power of giving back to those in need. Moreover, Lawrence's philanthropic spirit extends beyond monetary donations, as evidenced by his hands-on involvement in charitable events and initiatives. In 2017, he generously donated $300,000 to benefit the Challenged Athletes Foundation, showcasing his commitment to supporting individuals facing adversity. In 2023, Lawrence took his philanthropy to new heights by hosting a charity go-kart racing event, alongside a group of fellow celebrities, to benefit 125 disadvantaged children in Los Angeles.
This event not only raised funds for a worthy cause but also brought joy and excitement to those in need. Furthermore, Lawrence's generosity knows no bounds, as evidenced by his substantial donation of a million dollars to various charities, including in School of Los Angeles, Providence Trinity Care Foundation, and Stand Up 2 in 2023. In early 2024, Lawrence continued his philanthropic efforts by donating $200,000 to the In School of Los Angeles and Providence Trinity Care Foundation, further solidifying his commitment to supporting worthy causes and making a difference in the world. My audience, his generosity and commitment to making a difference in the lives of others have proven his value as a humanitarian role model for everyone to learn from. So why don't you be generous and give me a like and subscribe to the channel so we have more motivation to make videos. Personal Life in 1995, Lawrence exchanged vows with Patricia Southall, a former beauty queen who held the title of Miss Virginia USA. Their union welcomed the arrival of their daughter, Jasmine Page, in 1996. However, their marital bliss was short-lived, as Lawrence and Southall parted ways in 1997, culminating in a divorce. After splitting from Southall, Lawrence once again found love with Shamika Gibbs. Beginning a relationship that would produce two daughters, Ayana Faith in 2000 and Amara Trinity in 2002. The couple eventually married on July 10, 2010, in an unhappy marriage. However, their marital bliss was short-lived as Lawrence filed for divorce from Gibbs in April 2012. In April 2019, Lawrence's romantic life took another turn when reports surfaced of his engagement to a nurse named Roberta Moradfar. According to sources, Lawrence proposed to Moradfar with a lavish $500,000 engagement ring. Marking a new chapter in his journey towards love and companionship. Thank you for watching the entire video. Your support means the world to us. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You'll stay updated on all our latest uploads and help us grow our community. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.